Hi, welcome back to Vinyl Show and Tell. So you join me on a very, very wet and horrible Monday. I've tried to make it nice and cosy in here. If you listen very carefully, you might even hear next door's gutters overflowing. It's absolutely pouring out there. Fortunately, the weekend just gone, we had some lovely weather. Uh, so myself and my wife went to Petersfield, uh, which is a lovely town. Um, it's about 25 minutes away from here in Portsmouth. Uh, very, very nice place, picturesque. They had a Christmas market on which we uh, went to, um, had a couple of pints in the, um, a couple of nice pubs, so a good day was had. Uh, one of the things I did though was go to a shop called Vinyl Matters. Uh, absolutely great shop, it's the third time I've been there. Um, slightly off the beaten track, it's, only, it's down like a side alley, but it's very, very, it's very, very central to Petersfield close to the station and car parks and the actual town centre. Um, it is a small shop, but it's absolutely crammed to the rafters of vinyl. I mean, it really, really is. It's, it's got second hand and new, um, and it's, it's just so much in there for, for such a small space. Uh, the owner of the shop, Steve, um, great chap. He actually let me film some footage, which I'm gonna to cut to in a second, and was very, very accommodating to me and any of the other punters in there. So it really does come highly recommended. So I'll show you a bit of footage of um, Petersfield and the shop, and we'll come back and I'll show you what I bought. So just down this side street here, Very tucked away in this nice little nook. Here we go. Right, let's go in, see how we get on. So just come from this, just spotted it very randomly as well, which is very handy as you will see. Right, I'm just coming home. It's a beautiful day here. So there we go. As you can see, I stumbled on another shop called Quite Collectible. Uh, I'd never ever heard of the place, and I it literally it, I just saw the sign by chance, and it led to uh, it was like a bookshop that was closing down that had quite a decent vinyl selection. So uh, it was a complete half price sale. So I managed to pick up a few nice bits from there as well, which I'll go through in a in a minute. But first of all, let's show you what I got from Vinyl Matters. So first up, we got Motivation Radio by Steve Hillage. This is an upgrade copy. Comes with the original insert. Orig oh, sorry, get my words out. Original insert. That's on the Virgin label. Great album, this one. I do like Steve Hillage. It's what you call guitar space rock in a way. He's got a very very unique sound. Uh, clever arrangements, he's good. Next up, another upgrade copy. Quite a well-known one, this is Genesis Wind and Wuthering. UK original pressing on Charisma Records, it's got the textured sleeve. 
I have to admit, I've been a Genesis fan for years, but I only really listened to the Gabriel era. I didn't really give the later ones much of a try, but I've kind of got back into Trick of the Tail and this one, but my, my the, the one I've had for many years, the only other copy I've had, um, is pretty rough. So this one looks much, much better. The cover's got a little nick on it, but the actual vinyl itself looks very, very nice indeed. So I thought I'd treat myself. And this one seems to be going up in price a little bit as well. It's not the bargain, not the two quid bargain that it used to be, but that was a nice price. Now, this one was a great find. Another upgrade copy. This is Van de Graaff Generators Porn Hearts. It's an original UK press. Let's just get this the right way around on the pink scroll label. The disc itself is in superb condition. I have got one of these already, but it doesn't play that great. It's yeah, it's probably more like a VG copy, and this is a lot, lot better. This in, was a very, very fair price, and what's great about it as well, it comes with the Lyric insert, which not a lot of copies have. So I probably would have bought it anyway, insert or no insert, but there it was. So that was an absolutely brilliant find, very chuffed with that. Next up, we've got another upgrade copy. There's a lot of replacements here. Uh, we've got It'll End in Tears by This Mortal Coil. This is a UK original on 4AD. I bought this one a couple of years ago, and the copy I bought was really, really very nice indeed, but it just was really crackly. I don't know why. So I thought I'd just try another one. This looks to be a decent copy, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, they're a great outfit, this Mortal Coil. Is that way, if, if you can call them an outfit, it's kind of like a 4AD project featuring lots of 4AD artists. Um, very ethereal, very kind of ambient, dramatic, you know, it fits the bill of that label very much. So next up, I have to say, what could be a contender for the worst album cover of all times? It's Holly Sing Hollies from 1969. I'm enjoying the Hollies at the moment. Uh, last year I bought their greatest hits. It's the compilation released in the late 60s, which was a big hit for them. It's got lots of great songs on it. So since then, I've been trying to collect as many sort of late 60s or 80s, 70s albums of theirs as I can. Uh, this is a second pressing on Parlophone, one box label, very good price and in absolutely lovely condition. Um, I could have so been put off by that cover, I mean, what on earth were they thinking having matching shirts fashioned from what appears to be neck curtains? I mean, for goodness sake, this was 1969, people were getting a bit more hip. I know they're trying to do a bit of Piper at the Gates of Dawn psychedelia here. But um, yeah, no, that's enough to put anyone off. But I hope the music's good. So, former Holly. I wonder, why he I wonder if he left because of that. It's Graham Nash. So he left the Hollies, of course, to join Crosby, Stills and Nash. And uh, in the early 70s, all those members, including Neil Young, uh, made solo records. Uh, this is a lovely UK original with the... Plum and Orange Atlantic label, uh, texture sleeve, and comes with a lyric insert. And it is, yeah, absolutely lovely copy. Very, very pleased with that. Not one that I've heard, so I can't comment too much about it. So next up, from the shop, quite collectible, as I mentioned earlier, did I mention it earlier? They had a 50% sale on, so I thought I had to check this out. The vinyl selection was very small. I didn't bother getting footage of it because it, it, you know, it wasn't that big, but they did have some good stuff in there. So I'll just have a quick run through. So we've got an original press. This was just £2.50. This is the Age of Atlantic, Atlantic Records sampler. I would say in lovely condition. I didn't notice until I got it home there's a there's a great big scuff on the record. It might play through okay, but for £2.50, never mind. I should have checked that a bit better, but not to worry. Um, for £2.50 again, we've got the early Bee Gees from 1968 with Horizontal. Oh, check. Almost forgot the title of that one. This is a mono original on Polydor. I used to actually ha have a copy of this, but it played awful, so I'm hoping this plays well, and I'll be very pleased, because that was a bargain. Uh, another early Bee Gees, Mono Polydor again, 
This is Ideal, Jeepers Chips, £2.50. Uh, this one is called Compilation, another budget release at the time, called Backtrack 4. Um, it's side one of The Who, some random tracks, and side two of Jimi Hendrix, some random tracks. Um, as I say, yeah, it's just a budget sampler, a bit of an oddity really, it seems a bit of a mishmash, but you don't seem to see many of them. Original on track, so it looked quite interesting, so I got it. Now, is there one thing better than a Status Quo album? That's two Status Quo albums. So, I haven't got this one, it's blue for you, and they were £2.50 each. I was standing there, pondering over which one to get, which one was the slightly better condition, and in the end I just thought, I'll just buy both of them, bring them both home, and I'll keep the best of the two. Um, not the greatest album cover once again, is it really? But there we go. Um, I've been collecting early Quo records a lot over the last couple of years. I think this is the latest one I'm going to go to. I don't plan to be a completist with status quo. And from what I gather, this is possibly their last great studio record. So I'm quite pleased to get it, especially for that price. Now this one was a bargain. It's Trilogy by Emerson, Lake and Palmer. This is an absolutely fantastic prog record, really is, it's one of my favourites. Um, it's a UK first pressing on Ireland with the palm tree label and these ones sound so much better than the kind of subsequent reissues that came out. Um, absolutely brilliant record, again the cover is not great and uh, for Emerson, Lake and Palmer, I would have to say their last great one as far as I'm concerned. After that, it all went downhill for them from there. Yeah, I don't really go later than that. And finally, this was a great find. Now, this was originally priced at £10, which I actually think was quite reasonable. Half price, you do the math, it's down to a fiver. Um, this is Isaac Hayes, Hot Buttered Soul. We've got a little sticker scab there, but for £5... What are you going to do? This is a, not an original UK on stacks, but a second pressing pressed by Polydor. It needs a bit of a clean, but the disc itself looks absolutely immaculate. Um, hardly played at all. So, I mean, I haven't got any Isaac Hayes. This is the first one I've ever bought. I haven't played it yet. I know it's kind of in, you know, in the funk and soul vein. And from what I understand, this particular album, I think it's pretty highly regarded. So I had to grab it, pleased to pick it up, and uh, I look forward to spinning that one. So there you have it. Um, as I say, I highly recommend Vinyl Matters in Petersfield. The pricing is very fair. Um, I have to say about any record shop, if the pricing isn't fair or competitive, I don't go there. I, 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 I'll, I'll have a look through and I won't go back because there are record shops that I think are just ridiculously overpriced and this one isn't one of them. Uh, Petersfield is a great uh, great place to visit so um, um, that and quite collectible which is unfortunately due to shut down in a few weeks so if you get there by the 10th of December 2022 by the time if you're watching this video before that date you might pick up a bargain. So anyway that's all for now I will be back with more videos um, there is another buying trip I've got coming up so if that all goes ahead, I will be uh, making a video about that. Um, please don't forget to check out my other videos. Uh, please hit the like button, please subscribe, it does mean a lot. Love to hear your comments as always. So thanks for tuning in and take care.